Hi, Chad here with Purple Collar Life. Today we'll be taking the zero turn time cutter up to the cemetery for one of the last mowings of the year. It's getting to be in the fall here, the grass stops growing as much, and we had a very dry end of summer, so the grass has really slowed down. So this could very well be the last time we mow the cemetery for the summer. If you guys are just joining us at the channel, we really appreciate you checking us out, and please go down and click that subscribe button. We make videos not only about mowing the cemetery, but about maintaining the property here on our family homestead. And a lot of that is tractor work, cutting some firewood, uh, working on things around the house here, mostly outdoors. So if you like things like that, if you like channels like GP Outdoors or Outdoors with the Morgans, uh, certainly we appreciate you checking us out and we'd love if you click that subscribe button and watch us on family land that we've had for generations. So like I said, I'll be going up to the cemetery to get started on the zero turn. We're going to talk today a little bit about how Mowing a cemetery is a unique beast. It's totally different than mowing your lawn, and uh, we'll talk a little bit about why that is. We'll put it in turtle speed to pull into the trailer. We got this Toro time cutter a little bit in the summer, so we haven't had it for the entire summer. But we have had it for probably half the summer. And I can tell you, we've been extremely happy with it. So we've got just over, we've got 13 hours on this time cutter now. So that's not a lot. Most of it's been here mowing at home. And like I said, we've got a late start getting this uh, to our house here. So probably half the summer or half the mowing season, we mowed with the John Deere. And I can tell you, I would much prefer mowing with this. So like we've said, we mow this cemetery because it's a cemetery that's just down the road from our house. And it actually has a lot of relatives here, both on my mom's side and my dad's side of the family. So we like to take care of the cemetery. But you can see it is a rather large cemetery. It's up here near the woods. And the difference between mowing your lawn and mowing the cemetery is all those stones. So let's talk about that for a minute. First of all, you have to trim around every single stone. So, and it's not just trimming the front, you gotta trim the front, each side and the back. So you're basically circling every single stone in the cemetery with the trimmer. And that takes quite a bit of time. The other issue is the space between the stones doesn't allow you to ride the zero turn or a riding mower between those stones. So that space either has to be weed whacked, trimmed, or in our case, Jennifer and Mackenzie push mow between every single set of stones. And then lastly, I don't know if you can probably see from here, this is an older cemetery, and we'll go back to the back so you can see those stones, they're really old. But in the layout, they're not perfectly straight rows, so you can take a pass with the zero turn down, but maybe not make it between the two stones. So there's a lot of times where I've got to turn around and it's just due to stone organization, like you can see here. This stone's right in the middle of a row and there's not enough room on the left for me to pass beside it. So I squeeze on the right, right there, to continue this row, but that stone's obviously right in the middle. This section of the cemetery, you can see these small stones all of one family. There's not enough room between them, side to side, or front to back for the mower. So a lot of this is trimming and some push mowing. So you can see back here at the oldest part of the cemetery, 
there's not even enough space between rows for the zero turn mower to go. So this is all push mowed and trimmed. And you can see these are some really old stones. And they go clear back here into the woods. There are some trees. There are some that are just literally a stone and not really even a, a traditional grave marker. You can see it's a beautiful old cemetery. We love taking care of it, but I'm sure you can see how taking care of a cemetery, especially an older one like this, that doesn't have even rows, even spacing, goes back into the edge of the woods. You can see there's stones back here that are right along the tree line of the woods. It's a unique thing, and you really have to care about taking good care of the cemetery. So that's one of the reasons we like taking care of this cemetery. We know that we do a good job with it. We care about the stones. We care about the property. It does take a lot of time, but we're spending time taking care of a cemetery that we care about. So I'll get started here, start mowing. It's early in the morning, so there's a little bit of dew on the ground. And I'm trying to let that burn off, especially out front here. The front section of the cemetery is a pretty good slope and it goes right down towards the road. So on the zero turn, it can get a little slick. So I'll start at the upper end and then hope that that lower end dries out so that I'm not sliding towards the road. It gets a little scary down there. So I got all the zero turn mowing done on the big back half and then the front half. So all the stuff now is the push mowing and trimming throughout the cemetery. Jennifer and Mackenzie will come back with me to do that. I did this in the morning. But I wanted to show you, I'm sure it's hard to see on the camera with the slope here. This is the, the definition of white knuckle driving on the zero turn because this ground is like moss, so there's not much grip on the tires anyway. But then you're going down this steep slope, 
and for me it's just nerve-wracking knowing that you could slide down over that bank so you can see I left I left that much to push mow now when I was on the John Deere I would come down in line with the sign of the cemetery so I'd come that far over the bank and then push mow the rest so I'd mow to here and then push mow that and we whack below it. Zero turn, I stop right about here because I'm just afraid to go over that slope anymore. So I think the cemetery looks good. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for checking out our channel. And uh, we'd love it if you'd like and comment below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click that subscribe button. Thank you.